What do you do to me and Nation? So this video I'm going to go over a solo win that I had at Warzone. It's a pretty good damage in a 9 kill game. I'm going to break down my whole thought process. Everything that I made in certain situations what I was thinking for you guys. So I'll give you kind of an educational breakdown. And probably also for some tips for you guys as well. If you want to get into Warzone or you play a Warzone, you want to get a few tips. There's always one thing with all Battle Royales is trying to look and see who was around you. So I see here, I see one person flying right up behind me. And I see two people in front of me. So you always want to know who was around you, especially when you first drop. So I got two guys to my left. So I decide, okay, let me just go, go and get a gun. Right, lads, Instead of just trying to fight two guys with a pistol. Got this semi-auto rifle. And I know I still got these two people over here, or at least one. So I got in the building, I get a quick headshot on him. And he's still sitting there. I use this fence for cover, boom. Headshot, he's out of here, he's sent to the gulag. So now I see that I'm being tracked. If you notice, the little bar here to the left, uh, yellow means that the threat is far away. Orange, it means that the threat's getting closer. And obviously red means that the threat is very close to executing you. Especially when you first start off with these uh, Warzone Battle Royales, especially solo, you want to try to get as much cash as possible. So what will happen if the person hunting me, if they get down first or I take them out, I will still get the $1,000. So you know here, what I was thinking here is I was trying to be patient. I'm not trying to push uh, push up on anybody. So you see here, so that orange bar now went from yellow to orange. So somebody's coming in. It's not this person here. It's probably a person that I just killed. I reposition. I hear gunshots behind me. So now I see the bar is red. So now the threat is very, very close. And I hear another person flying in. Also, one thing, guys, make sure that when you play a Warzone or with all BRs, you know, make sure you invest some good headsets. So you have some good audio so you can hear the sound cues of people around you. So I'm looking, trying to find this guy, trying to use these bushes as cover. I decided, you know, take this uh, ACV, the four wheeler. Trying to get myself some separation because he has a high ground advantage. So I didn't want to push him. So I break away for a bit, try to find some more loot, and also too, I don't have any uh, armor plates. So that's another another reason why I want to regroup, get some armor. You see now, so I'm getting shot at. So I try to take this one v one, and you know we take. So we go on. So now we got ninety four hundred dollars. So I almost got ten thousand for a loadout. And I hear somebody here, so I hear the footsteps. Actually, it's the person hunting me. I hear him. I hear footsteps. Who am I taking out? So now we got the one thousand dollars, and we got another kill. So as I was saying earlier about the audio, so like I said, when you, especially when you're playing battle royales and Warzone, I know uh, Warzone footsteps audio is not the best, but it's always good to invest into some, into some headsets, have some good artists so you can hear things, guys. That's probably one of the biggest things that I use in all battle royales. You know, when when that sound, when the audio is working, is to always you know, you know, use the audio first and not try to see people. So you see here, I use a surveillance drone to get some information. You know, for all your Apex players, kind of like using crypto drone. So now I know where this person is. I know their, I know their position. And that's also another thing when you're playing these uh, battle royales or war zone. I always try to get information. The more information. The better. Boom, I get a headshot on him. I crack this armor. I thought it was proximity of mine in here. So now that he's trapped. So if he try to come out, then that mine's gonna go off. And so it did, right there. So now, right over here to this uh, buy station, to get my loadout. After this video, I'll show you the exact uh, specifications of what loadout I had. So buy his loadout. You know, always, especially if you get your loadout early in this game, always, it's always a good advantage. So, loadout, I get an AX50 and I got an MP5. So now I have my AX50 for sniping, and now it's my MP5, you know, for close range, mid range uh, combat. Pop another UAV, also, UAVs are also great too, especially solo. So again, you know, I was trying to get that from me, trying to see who is around you. So I see three guys. Uh, to my uh, to the south of me, southwest. Repositioning. So if you can, when you're playing Warzone, try to get as many UAVs as possible. 
And also too, the trick to where if you can pop three uh, UAVs at one time, it makes it to an advanced UAV. So we can tell where the exact people, uh, you know, which way they're facing, the direct location, etc. So, so I'm trying to run with this wall here. Now, I believe I think here I make a mistake. I'm not trying to run, you know, outside of uh, the gas. So you know, it's something new for me for Warzone. You know, we're trying to go over all the learning experience. Uh, me myself, I'm trying to learn it as well. So in the gulag, when I gulag here, all right, then we have to gulag. So that was a mistake by me. You know, I should have just ran and try to get the circle, but I was trying to see where those two people that were uh, close to me, see if I could possibly, you know, snipe one of them. All right, obviously I couldn't get to a vehicle in time. So we come out the gulag, and now I see it load out right here in front of me so we got very lucky so I'll get my loadout again AX50 MP5 so now as I'm looting up here I see this red truck uh, creeping up on me you know, so now so that person he has trophy system on his car so I should learn from that first grenade but now I hear him he's coming around the left side of me I'll be patient wait for him he's down on and then it's killed. So I mean, in that situation where I just stayed still, I didn't just uh, kept on running. You know, I sat behind the building. I stayed patient. I was it for the audio cue. The reason why I got another loadout, so I try to uh, get ghosts. It gives my ghost loadout a ghost perk, all right, to where I'm not uh, detected uh, on a radar or a uh, UAV. Snipe. So here, after I pop another UAV, I see press run out of open. Snipe him one time. Down him on third shot. And that's gonna be night night for him. Now I fast forward from this uh, from this video you know, just to make it a little bit shorter for you guys. But I know I, I saw earlier in the game, I just edited out that I saw somebody driving up up here earlier. So I made sure I kept that in mind. So I checked both ways. So I see somebody here to my right, northeast. Alright, was able to down it one shot, headshot. Try to knock him out some C4. You know, you get a, a lucky, a good no scope. You know, it's kind of a bit of a luck and and skill. But so I never, so I know early that I saw him driving up here. You know, I just didn't show it to the guy because I edited out. Um, so okay, I was thinking in my head, okay, somebody should still be up here in this part of the dam. So now I see uh, people down here fighting. Now, especially with this circle, if you're down here, this part of the dam, it's very hard to. Uh, you know to come back up so when a circle is coming this way you don't want to be on this part of this map in this area all right because obviously here you know you don't lose the high advantage unless you got a helicopter to where it can take you up you know it's very hard to come up from this area where you guys are up into here you know to where you can uh you know rotate so make sure you guys keep that in mind now i see this one guy in this truck here so now i see it's okay he's going to hide out in his house in his house here so he knows where i'm at so I try not to get too greedy with it. So I try to see if I can reposition myself, try to take another way out. Obviously I can't. So I just gotta be careful. You know, use uh, movement. Just keep sliding so I don't get hit. And I see on my map that someone is down below, but obviously like I said earlier, he can't uh, get out. So he dies, the guy that was down there at the bottom. You now checking that house here. Now I also want to check it towards uh, my right. I just see, you know, if, uh, you know the other person you know comes up or is hiding over here to my right because we already know there's one person in that house we just got we just got to find out where is uh the other guy i see this guy he now he's getting in his truck and actually so now i see both of them are fighting you know so in this situation i now let them fight out once i see the other guys down i take out the other guy that came out of the truck and then boom we take it home for the win all right so let's give you guys some educational commentary you know, for you guys, mix it up for Warzone. Uh, so hopefully this video help out you guys. If you want to see more educational commentary or tips for Warzone, make sure you guys leave a like. If you enjoy it, if you want to see more, also more Warzone video, make sure you, make sure you subscribe as well. So again, if you want to see more Call of Duty Warzone videos, especially here in the Black Ops Cold War, you know, you guys let me down in the comment section below what you guys think. As always, guys, like I get, I say it again, leave a like if you enjoy the content, subscribe if you love it, and I'll talk to you later, man, nation. Peace.